All right, folks, we got the 2011 Chrysler Town & Country. It's got a big 3.6 in it, I imagine. And the uh, lady's complaint is the exhaust is loud. And it is. I drove it in. She's not lying. Sounded to me as if the leak was up here when I drove it in. We got some black with me, just a little crooked. She's missing the bolt. There we go. Look at that. Oh, that'd be an easy fix. Easy fix there, fella. Not even a gasket required. Got some welded on nuts, though. All right. I got a plan, I think. I think it's gonna be a good job for Vic. You guys know Vic, right? I mean, quarter after eight, I already got the torch out. two bolts to deal with. <laughs> There's one. And you get uh oh what's hissing? No bits over here. That was a snake. There's two. Uh, I think what we'll do first we'll get a little screwdriver here. Get rid of our slag. Oh wait people don't think I burned the pipe off. All right, so that's all good. Uh, I think we can just cut those nuts off the back. Usually there's just a couple little tiny spot welds that hold those suckers on. So we'll go on the back side here, spin them down. We'll see if we can't find the spot weld to nick those babies off. Fire bolt back here. Now these are pretty crusty, so we'll heat them up and all this rust is gonna pop off. And with a little bit of luck, it'll land right on your lip. That's where it always seems to land. So heat up. Huh. Didn't even get me in the lip. We're gonna try to nick them just a little. A little bit here. A little bit there. A little bit there. So you don't feel it too much, you get that flange too hot, then you're screwed. Because then you'll blow a hole right through it. So let's, uh, it's probably hot, so let's touch it, first of all. Let's spin it around. We've got a pair of pliers, we'll spin it around here. Go back to where we started, see if it's wiggly yet. No, sir. We might have to give it just a little jiggle with the air hammer. Yeah, let's uh, let's give that a little jiggle, see if it just knocks right off. We don't need to go crazy here, we just want to give it a little brop. Like that. <coughs> you sucker. Well, I'll be darn the uh thought for sure we would have got that spot well. Let's be just a little bit more on there. Let's give her a little more a little more heat. 
Can't be much holding that thing on. Well, we'll let that cool down and we'll clean up the slag on it. Come back down to this one. Wow. All right, let's rattle that one a little bit. See if it just cracks loose on us. No, sir. Not doing real good in this department today, are we? We'll just make it all disappear. There. Can't be seized if it's liquid, right? You mother lover. Maybe it can be. I think it's rebonding. Well, I tried to show you free tip Friday, but I'm just gonna get nasty now. Must be it's rebonding as it cools. Wow, this guy looks like an idiot. Teach you. Yep, not. Was on there. More than I've ever seen in my life. Usually it's just the four corners that they've got tacked on here. So we're gonna have to <laughs> we're gonna have to do something different here. All right, let's pretend we didn't see that one. Let's go around here and look at this one. Yeah, usually what they got, folks, is usually they're just. Uh, couple little tack welds in the corners of the nut and then you just take the torch and nick them a little bit and then tap them with the air hammer and they usually come right off these ones are playing hard to get so let's start on this one because that one's cooled down get rid of the rest of what's there all right so that one's gone because what you can do a lot of times, you know, if these are like up in a body or something, you can um, you can just take and whack on the back of the study. Usually it'll break that nut right loose, but you know, being on a flange like this, typically you take the torch, kind of burn the sides of the nut a little bit, and that breaks the bond. Must be these are uh, welded on a little differently. Every time our slag cools down, boy, it really rebonds back to that flange. Even the slag laying in the bottom, so I guess the trick here is to not get ahead of yourself as far as keeping on cutting. Because once that once that flange turns red, you know, forget about it. Don't uh, don't fiddle with it anymore. Let it cool back down naturally or with your squirt gun. Sometimes the cooling process will break the plant or the slag loose on you. We'll see if it did. We'll give it a little tap here. Oops. Yeah, so it broke that piece loose just during the cooling process, and that one did too. So that's good. That one did not, but it's not that critical because it's just a little piece. Just a little piece of slag there. Come on, slag. There we go. So there's that hole. 
let's see how this one is. So I don't know if you guys can see it or not, probably not, but you can see, you know, three spot, spot there, there, and there, almost kind of in a triangle shape. And I believe that's where it would have been spot welded on from the factory, so. Let me just spray that side, make sure that's cooled down so we don't burn our little fingers. I thought it felt a little warm. There, boy, that took longer than expected. So that's not too bad of a job really. If we, uh, no gasket in here, it's a flange fit. So we can just get a couple, what size bolts? 10 millimeter or 3 8 Stick back in there and this uh, lady will be back on the road in no time. Get rid of some 3 8 bolt from the inventory. Uh, I don't know if there's room for a flat wash in there or not. Probably not very necessary, but we'll try it. Like a glove. Do this one here. So I don't know how you would do this as a homeowner. Or I shouldn't say a homeowner. Because you could rent an apartment and still be struggling to do this. Not even a homeowner. As a DIYer, I should say. Probably your best bet is, if you don't have a torch, just take it to a shop and ask them if they can at least cut those nuts off. It's a shame they're not just a standard, you know, nut and bolt that that nut is welded from the factory. So we want to get this flange kind of even. We'll go grab some 9 16 wrenches and snug her up. And that's something you don't hear a guy say too often nowadays. Let me grab my 9 16 14, yeah, 9 16 not so much. Now you don't have to kill these things. I'm gonna make her even here. Yeah, that's, that's good enough, fella. There we have it, folks. Pretty easy fix, and at least the next guy can take the torch and just nick those off because they're just nuts and bolts now. See, we sound like it was pretty loud before. Oh, much better. You can, you can hear it up right here pretty good. Before, look at that baby, she's mad. Yep, now all the noise is coming out the back. Air whistling down around a pee hole. We'll talk this well. Right, you your tea in your favorite cup. Oh, thanks. That is my favorite cup. <laughs> there you go. Appreciate it. You're a good woman. Thank you. Hey, yeah, folks, uh, not too big a deal. Uh, at least as far as fixing a shot and having a torch. You know, if you're DIYing it, I don't know how you would get those nuts out there. Maybe. If you have lots of time and a Dremel tool, you can go back there and you know whittle away at them. Like I say, typically the nut on a flange, a welded nut, or even one that's in a body or a blind nut, they're usually held on just by a few little spot welds in the corner and that's it. These appear to be bonded a little bit better because typically you take the torch and you just kind of go around it, just give it a little one of those, you know, around it, and then typically it falls off. But uh, the flange is some sort of alloy and you know, then it seemed to be when it heated up that the nut just kind of rebonded to it. If you cool it down quickly, sometimes the water let it cool naturally. A lot of times you can, you know, give them a little smack there with a chisel or something and usually it'll break that bond loose. But either way, it turned out good in the end. Just took a little longer than expected. It took 10 minutes instead of five, but uh, easy fix for this guy because you know, the rest of the components are still halfway decent. Eventually on these stow and goes that, um, you know that resonator rots out and uh, you know that pipe that comes up and over that's a real pain in the neck to change I don't know if you guys ever changed my knees but they can be a pain in the hoo-hoo I think they've got the flex on them I don't know but anyhow one thing I do know you guys need to go in that comment section questions comments concerns insta Facebook you guys know what to do just my viewers if I can do it you can do it thanks for watching